Good morning. Good morning to everyone. We got all our morning chores done. Been up since four, got the cows taken care of the chickens. It's six o'clock. We're, we're gonna get ready for our farmer's market. Whoop, whoop. So we just got done with our first market and honestly, it was amazing. Yeah, we had a lot of people actually come and talk to us and ask questions. And lots of people tried the cheese and they loved it. Unfortunately, we can't sell it right now, so people were just giving out free rolls of cheese for everybody that bought basically a bar of soap. Uh, which was nice because people wanted the soap to begin with and they thought it was a bonus uh, to get the uh, cheese. So they actually gave us a tip. Sometimes yep. they give us three dollar tip here, five dollar tip there, just for ten dollar tip sometimes. Yeah, you know, just giving them a free roll of cheese as about fourteen ounces of cheese. Yep, made a lot of connections today. A lot of local farmers, obviously, you're from Tractor Supply, so guess who's going to be coming into Tractor Supply? Farmers. And so we met a lot of great people today too, who want to help us in our dream, which is great. And being in a small town, it's not the scarcity mindset where people are trying to claw and get whatever little bit they can. People are so giving here. Like, they wanted to give us their money, and it was amazing. Because, honestly, a lot of the people who we were talking to were like, hey, keep your head up during your first market. It's gonna be hard. No one's gonna come by. People don't wanna talk to you, you know, X, Y, and Z. But that wasn't our experience at all. People were more than happy to come and talk to us. Mostly, they saw the logo and were like, what are you about? <laughs> I wanna know what you're about. So, congrats to me on the logo since I designed it. Um, yeah. But the community here is so welcoming. Everyone here wants to buy, or at least everyone we talk to, wants to start buying our pasture chicken, which is our number one, going to be our number one uh, product. product. Thanks. Because that is going to be our bread and butter, since we don't make bread, even though we do make butter. But that's for personal consumption. But... Yeah, just today was such an amazing experience and I really wasn't expecting it to be as wonderful as it was. I had no expectations at all, to be honest. Didn't expect to sell a single thing. My goal today was just to connect with people who live around here and we exceeded that. Plus, um, we didn't pay anything to be a part of this and we made over $100? Over $100? Uh, I would say we made about $100, yeah. maybe just over $100. Yeah, uh, I mean, out of people's uh, kindness and selling three dollar soaps. On Venmo, we generated fifty one dollars, and I think in cash it was either forty five or fifty five that we made in cash. I just got to count, kind of go through everything. Yeah, and again, this isn't big money. We know that, but just to have made anything today when you expected to make zero, zero. There you go. Yeah, it's a win. Well, it's also a win when you generate it strictly from your property. So literally generating revenue from resources from our land, from our animals. Yeah, animals we're going to have anyway for our own personal use. I mean, 100 bucks for, what, four hours of, what, the time of our time out there? Yeah. It's $25 an hour. Yeah, and also, well, $25 between two people, so... But, like I said, community. The number one thing I was expecting today, or wanted to do today, was community and connect with people in the community. And that's exactly what we did. We got a lot of business cards. We got a lot of people signed up who want to know when we're going to be uh, culling and processing our chickens. A lot of people really want to know when we're going to have our raw milk up and going. So we're going to get going on that harder. So I'm just excited for what the future's going to bring. It's amazing that when you invest in your dream, that has been your dream since you're a little girl of farming, and it's happening, and it's working, and it's coming to fruition, and you get it to do it with your best friend. My best friend. <laughs> I'm just so happy and excited and grateful, y'all. You have no idea how much gratitude I have right now. And if anyone who came by is watching, which I know no one is, thank you, because you invested in two people's dreams. Back to the afternoon chores. Checking on everyone, make sure everyone has their enough water, which is, even if it's mostly full, we still top it off, just in case. There's no such thing about having too much water out here. We're about to go move the cows. 
from over there to over there. And tomorrow we will move the chickens from over here to over there. Yes. Are they a good pair of minions? Or group? Because there's more than two. Now start laying me some eggs, minions. <laughs> Straggler! I'm gonna call you Straggler, because you're always out. Yep. Good chickens. Hi, baby. You still don't want to get up? I know it's hot as poop outside. Yeah, so she doesn't want to get up right now, so we're going to throw her in our big ass wheelbarrow and carry her over to where she needs to be moved. We're going to start doing the moves in the morning. We just obviously couldn't this morning with um, the farmer's market. Oh, little girl. How when you give her rub, she just relaxes into your hand. We'll get you well, baby. We'll get you well. I promise. We can't really promise anything. We'll just do our best. All we can do is our best and give you all the tender, loving care we can. Come on, big girl. Doing her business. Protest poops. Oh, okay, she's moving now. Guess you're not going in the bucket. Here we go. She was too tired to walk to the new place though. Oh, she's just probably got heat exhaustion. So now we move her to the new next shade location. So Clint is taking Miss May to goat milk, get milked right now. And we're just going to hang out with the goats. So hopefully they don't, uh, <laughs> you okay there, apes? We're just, yeah, we're going to hang out. Hopefully they don't get too escapey if they have someone hanging out with them. What it honestly seems like, and this sounds crazy, is it so feels like they have separation anxiety. Because they're good during the day when we just leave them alone and we don't, like, interact with them a lot, which is horrible. On the days we do interact with them a lot, they escape constantly and want to be with us. Like, they've hopped fences, May always ends up at a front door. Ugh. I want to be with you little buddies, but I can't if you're going to destroy everything. So it's like, where do you draw the line? Cause I love hanging out with them and I love how amazing they are because they're such cool little goats. Everyone has their own personality. April's little boss hog. Mando's the uh, gentle fighter. I don't know what to call him. He's more of a pacifist. If there's any aggression in the pen, he will immediately dip. Coward is a good word. He's a lovable coward. Is it five o'clock? I think it's five o'clock. I think I'm going to make a shirt with her face on it that says, it's five o'clock. It's going to be her bleeding. <laughs> so much gratitude for today. Huh? Hi, hi, apes. Yeah. Getting drive by by Nando. He's so cute. He comes over here. He puts his little head in my chest and nibbles and does some other weird stuff. That... <laughs> What's going on? that uh, goats do. Gosh, this is such a good day. <laughs> Cracks me up. Face full of food, still complaining.
Better not pee on me again, sir. He likes to do that. It's quite irritating. Oh, really? Really? Oh. He's like a Sour Patch kid. He's sweet and then he's salty. Or sour. Never salty. How you do, Amando? Cuddly goat. Cuddly goat coward. Feel good, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Who doesn't like a good head rub? <laughs> Am I your scratching post? Don't bite me! <laughs> Where are you going? Let me go under my leg. You're so feisty. You're a feisty goat. And you. You're also a feisty little goat, huh? Oh, you're not? Not feisty? Okay. All done over here. May! May! She's behind the barn. There she is. May! May! Guess she's gonna go do her own thing. <laughs> You've abandoned your niece! And your boyfriend! She's like, I'm gonna go do my own thing. Bah! Yeah, I'm making fun of you. There she goes. She's found her own forge. Little does she know she's getting moved over there tomorrow. Another amazing day. Another amazing end. <laughs> what are you doing? They're just so funny. What do you do, baby apes? Ugh, I can't tell you guys how good today was. Another amazing end to another amazing day. Out on the home stead. I can't tell you how amazing this overall today was. We gave away a lot of cheese. We gave, we emptied out, almost emptied out our fridge of milk, which is good. Because we had way too much milk. And I'm just super grateful. And to see how many people want to get connected closer to the source of their food is also amazing. I heard a lot of things today. I heard a lot of, I drank raw milk as a girl, little girl. And these were mostly women in their 60s. And I miss it. And also no one has a family cow anymore. Which is sad, I guess. But yeah, today was just really amazing. Everyone was super receptive. Even though we didn't sell anything, a lot of people wanted just to hand us money because they like what we're doing. They love the regenerative farming. They love that we're trying to do farming in a way that's going to regenerate the soil and not destroy it. They love just the wholesomeness of it all. Like, you can't get closer to your food source than you doing it yourself than getting it from us. Because all our food is raised with tender loving care. No adding antibiotics, no BS in your food, it's just... <laughs> Hi, Gooby Goof! Today's a good day. And I just hope everyone has an amazing rest of their weekend. I know we will. We got some, maybe be taking a trip tomorrow, maybe not. Definitely taking a trip on Monday, that's gonna be fun. So yeah, everyone have an awesome Saturday. Let's hit Sunday awesome and hard. Let's have an awesome rest of the weekend. Even if you don't, let's try to have a positive attitude about it.